Well, you guys got another video here for you. Everyone needs this Windows 11 bootable USB installer if you're using Windows 11 23H2 or Windows 11 24H2. And the reason why is because Microsoft have tightened up their requirements for installing Windows 11. Recently, Microsoft announced that BitLocker will be enabled by default so when you reinstall or install Windows 11 24H2 or 23H2, BitLocker will be enabled by default, which means your hard drive will be encrypted by default. Now, some people don't want this and they want to have this disabled, and I showed you how to do it during the installation process, but you can also do it with the method that I'm going to show you today. Also, local accounts. Microsoft are making it extremely hard for you to use a local account on Windows 11 and that's because they've uh, blocked all of the bypass methods uh, that you used to use. There's still a couple of methods you can use, and I've made videos on those, but I want to show you a super easy way to be able to bypass all of this and have BitLocker turned off and also have your local account installed when you're installing Windows 11, and I'll show you that in this video. It's very simple and easy to do. And you won't have to worry about it on unsupported hardware as well because it will take care of all of that as well. So rather than jumping through a load of hoops to install Windows 11, this is probably your best method. Now, before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro or cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check the links in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order. And once you submit your order, you can use PayPal to pay for your key. They will then send you your key into your account, and you can then use that key to activate your version of Windows like you can see right here on the screen. Very easy to do. So back to the tutorial, what you want to do is head over to Rufus's website and download the Rufus app. Now, they do an install version, and they also do a portable version, which you can use, which is what I'm going to be using in this video. What this is going to allow you to do is to create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it. And this means that there's going to be a bunch of features on here which you can enable, which will bypass all of this. So I've got my USB flash drive plugged in. I've downloaded Rufus and I'm now going to click on install. Now we have got a portable version here, so it's not going to actually install anything. It's just going to unpack it into its own container. But you can see there is my flash drive. It's called BIOS, but don't worry, we'll change the name of that as we go along. So you can download an ISO from Rufus. It will come straight off of Microsoft servers if you want to do that. If you want to do that, click on this little one here down on the bottom left hand corner. And this is your settings and you can change this to daily default on check for updates. Click close and then close the app and reopen it. And when you reopen it, there will be a little arrow next to the select here if you want to download it from this location. So select download, then hit download here. And this is going to allow you to download a Windows 11 ISO or Windows 10 or other versions. So let's go ahead and click on Windows 11 and choose the latest build. It's 23H2 version 2 here. So I'm going to click on continue. And now you can choose whether you want this version here. So that's the version we're going for. These are your additions. And now we can choose the language. I'm going to leave it as is just for this video and click on continue. Once that's done, we can then move on to the next section, which is choosing our architecture, which is 64 bit. And that's where we're going to leave it and click download. It will then give you the option to download that version right here. But I'm not going to use this version because I already have 24H2 downloaded and I'm going to select it by using the select button rather than the download button. So you can either download it from Microsoft itself directly using their media creation tool and download the ISO that way, or you can download it through Rufus. Okay, so let's configure Rufus here now. So basically we do have here our GPT uh, partition scheme, which we're going to use. You can use MBR if you want, but we're using GPT because that's the latest New one, UEFI non-CSM is what you need for GPT. And we've got the standard Windows installation for image options available right here. Down the format options here, we can change the volume label to something we want here. We don't need that check mark there. So what we need here is to change the volume label to something more recognizable. So let's call this Windows 11 Bypass, something like that. 
and we will then be able to see that as our USB flash drive. Now we can choose whether we want FAT32 or whether we want to have NTFS as our uh, file system. I'm going to choose NTFS. So you can choose this little option here to open up the advanced section here and leave these as is. And we can now choose NTFS here. You can leave it on FAT32 if you wish, but I'm going to go ahead and change this to NTFS. So once we've got that done, we can leave the cluster size as default. And we are now going to click on start to basically prepare our USB flash drive. It will erase all of the data on that USB flash drive. So make sure there's nothing on the drive that you want to keep because it will be erased. Click on start. And this is where the uh, cool stuff happens. This means remove requirements for four gigabytes of RAM secure boot and TPM 2.0, which means if you're on unsupported hardware, you can use that. Also, using the remove requirements for online Microsoft account, we can use that method by leaving the check mark in there and create a local account with this username. So you can call your username whatever you like here, and it will use that username during the installation process and setup process of installation of Windows 11. 24H2 and 23H2. So I'm going to call this just PC101, something like that. And that will be my username uh, for this particular PC. And again, here you can set your regional options if you wish, or disable data collection, skip privacy questions. That's what we're going to do here. And disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. This is going to be crucial for people that don't want to have BitLocker enabled during the installation process. Check mark all the ones you want then click OK here to erase data on the USB flash drive. It will then go ahead and start preparing your USB flash drive by copying all the required files over to your USB flash drive. So you can use this to install Windows 11, 24H2 or 23H2, depending on what one you're installing. And again, once you've done this, it will create a local account for you and skip and bypass the required Microsoft account. It will also skip past all the security questions and it will also turn off BitLocker by default and make it off, which is what you want. And here is your USB flash drive. All you need to do now is plug this into your computer that you want to install Windows 11 on. And it's going to bypass all of that stuff. None of this Shift F10 to open up the registry editor to do registry edits to turn off uh, BitLocker by default during the installation process. And also to be able to turn off any sort of Microsoft account by using the command prompt. You don't have to do any of that with this method. This is probably the easiest way for people to install Windows 11, 23H2 and 24H2 without having to go through all the faff of having to bypass false Microsoft accounts and also false BitLocker. If you don't want to use those options, then this is the, probably the easiest method that still works today in 2024. Anyway, but that said, Hope this one's been useful. A lot of people have asked for this video, but my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.